keep it to this You know rockin' with CYPT Podcast of the D with Claire and the crew It's like my CTV They be gonna game out so much You can take the same route Especially if you take risk This YouTube, you make sense what up, though? What up, though? What up, though? You're listening to the CYPT podcast. It's the podcast of the strongest, fastest, most powerful print shop on this side of the Easter Seaboard. Oh, I'm just Niles. Damn, I forgot to say it. I know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this boy Boogie Man, behind the camera. Me. I'm your boy Clay. And today <laughs> we got someone in the house that's a very special guest. Very special guest. Uh, a good customer of ours. Miss Ashley Watts from, tell her where you're from. From Detroit. From Detroit. Yeah. And what do you do? I sell purses. Sell purses. <laughs> not, just, not just any purses, people. Y'all got to understand. <laughs> These purses are full uh, of color. These purses are full of vibrancy. Style. All that. Look at I, I ain't never seen nothing like Look, look at this. These purses this, are uh, full of. These purses uh, are amazing. Full of. Personality, personality, if you will. <laughs> if you will. Okay. That's a great name. Full of personality, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. How did you come up with that name? Who came? I want to. Whoever came up with that name, that is a very good name for what you do. How did you come I up with that? I came up name? with it. So tell me about that. that. Um, when I first when I first started wearing these purses, I was like 15, 16. It was like bustier purses back then. Mm -hmm. But um, I was always told, like, my style was different oh you shouldn't put that with that i was like it's just my personality and light and then yeah. i was like personality <laughs> like duh All right that is a, that is a great name for these purses i mean because it takes a person with personality to to rock one of these purses mm -hmm. yeah it was really on brand for you especially when you started showing us and bringing the ones in that you were talking about i'm like oh yeah i, <laughs> I thought it was fire from the jump i couldn't you uh, did you hopped up out your seat for when, real, that was when a, i said personality you no because you don't normally like some people come in and i guess they don't really you know have the name or the vision like that but you you mm -hmm. really kind of had it you just needed us to like flesh it out mm -hmm. but you really had something going on already that was uh, that was pretty cool yeah and did you trademark that name i did um, great because uh you, you Cause know, somebody know, would somebody have somebody would have got that took that like give me that that's dude, that's good that you did that so uh, tell me how did you get started with the purses um like i said i started when um when i was like 15 16 i would always see these different purses mm -hmm. like if it was weird i wanted it mm -hmm. if it was different i wanted it so um when i got older i think the first purse that I found was like a clock purse and I fell in love with it and I ever since then I just been looking them up let me, let me find this and then I found a vendor oh okay and once I found a vendor I said I was gonna start my business mm -hmm. then I started my business so is it just one vendor that you get all your purses from or do you like kind of get purses from different vendors no different it's um it's two of them and they're based in China okay so um I'll be <laughs> I'll be up all night because they're the time difference Mm -hmm. Our three o'clock in the morning is they four o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. oh, so, yeah. so I'm up all night sending this lady like, "Hey, um, I need you to make this kind of purse, like um, the uh, heart monitor purse that I got coming." So she's making these purses. You're telling her what to make. What I she's want. Making yeah. them. Oh, okay. No wonder don't nobody else. Yeah, got I'm these. wondering like how, 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 how <laughs> no one has these. these purses. I never yeah. seen nobody like the those. heart monitor. I got coming. Um, she was like, "Well, send me a picture of what you wanted to look like." Sent her a picture of a real heart monitor off a of Google picture. Yeah. And she went on her computer and sent me a rough draft. And I was like, "Yeah, that's what I want." Now that's talent. That's that's wild. So a lot yeah, of nurses, this one. A, a lot of nurses must get that heart monitor one, huh? Oh yeah, that one. That's one gonna be hot. What's the that's uh, one? clock one you was talking about? The clock purse. Yeah, I know you said you all brought some extras. That's dope. This one uh, and all the clock purses you can put batteries in, and so they and, do uh, work. And they, they do work. work. Yes, Perfect. you can set the time, <laughs> and they do work. I think I got batteries in one of these. Oh, that's the big one. Yeah, this is the big one. This one right here, Another and that's the bigger one. That's that's dope. Yeah, and you can put batteries in them, and they they actually work. I'm surprised you still got a lot of these purses. Like they, these are like one of. So <laughs> how many? So how many one style purses do you get? Like do you get like six of those, or does she make just one? Like how do you do that? Um, it depends on 
what she charging me to make it first, how difficult it is for her to mm -hmm. make it and what the price is for me because I need to know that I can sell it. Mm -hmm. Like this one right here goes one fifty by itself. Okay. So um this is the only one I have of this one in stock. Um the other clock I do have other clock purses but different styles. Um so really it it, it, it varies on what kind of purse it is. Mm -hmm. Somebody can come to me and say, hey, I want a, a Nike shoe. I was I was just about to ask you that. Can people make special requests? Yeah, and, use and I'll get it done. Whew. How long does something like that usually take? Being that it is based in China, it would take roughly 30 days for oh, delivery. That's not, bad. 30 that's not for 30 a custom days. purse. That's yeah, just... 30 days for delivery. Okay. And these ain't no, these are, these, these are custom purses. I mean, you have everything from tea kettles, teapots to... Houses to radios to jackets, like it's it's all completely custom. I can see why it would take that much time like that. Yeah. And how how do you come up with these ideas for these purses? I don't know. I just be thinking like, what's something different? I thought about asking her, can she make my truck, my Tahoe? That'd be wild. <laughs> Hopping out the Tahoe with a Tahoe purse. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that'd be dope. I mean, why not? <laughs> With the logo on the side. With the logo on the side. So the sky's the limit for these, for real. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. your, your, what's, what's your lowest price purse? That one. This one right here? Yeah, the radio one. That one's sweet. That's the, uh, but that's, you, the, you, that's the lowest price. And you went on with uh, customization. You, you added a little more customization to this, huh? Yeah. Oh, the logo oh, on the, the back logo of it. On the back. Oh, wait, no. I'll take that back. I got this one. Oh, the cell phone first. Oh, oh, no, cool. no oh. way. No way. <laughs> what up, dog? That's the cheapest no one I got. No way. What up, <laughs> dog? The whole antenna? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's slick. Now, what about the men? You ain't got no wallets? Uh, 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 I don't. <laughs> you, you, you didn't think about us? They think about us, huh? I yeah. gotta think of something. Yeah, I think of a custom wallet. It's easy fired. for women, but you know I gotta come up with something for the men. None of this looks easy. All of this looks like it takes so much time. I think men will be easier. Well, no, I think this is easy because this is my style. This is what I like. I, this is what I wear on the daily. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. not nothing. I just be like, oh well, I think of no. My whole like my personal purses. I don't own a, not one regular purse. See, that's what. <laughs> that that's what makes the brand successful is when it actually represents you. People mm -hmm. follow authenticity. Mm -hmm. You have it and, and, and by the flock, okay? Appreciate that. If you're rocking these purses for real and people see you with them, I'm mm -hmm. gonna want one. You're making this look sweet. You're on walking billboard, your own advertising. <laughs> for real. So tell me, like when you when you rocking some of these purses, what are some of the things that people are saying to you? Are they stopping you on the street? They you are stop traffic. Especially my um I got a uh payphone purse. That one stops everybody because it, it actually connects to your phone, your cell phone. So a lot of people be like, can you talk on that? Yeah. Is that how you get a lot of your sales? By you rocking the actual person yourself? Rocking the actual and person. And, card? Yep. Do you go like, where are some of the places that you go to make like sales? Because I, I'm pretty sure like if you went into like my a, day to day, a, a hair salon and just pulled out them purses, like you would probably come out like. I probably would. I haven't done that. You, so. What? <laughs> no. You're not doing no pop ups, no nothing. Not yet. I haven't done any yet. You go really? into a hair no. salon and it's <laughs> over. You would go. It would go crazy. I haven't went to any salons or pop-up shops yet. So how are you getting most of your sales? What kind of advertising and marketing are you doing? Just word of um, mouth. Word of mouth right now. Um, I'm I'm working on the promoting myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on that. So this is a new business venture for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You, I'm learning the, the learn, whole learning works the whole of thing. it. Okay, yeah. well, <clears throat> I'm telling you, you, you can start by going into those salons, those, those hair salons, and yeah. I guarantee you, you, you'll come out with like half your bag gone. You just gotta Probably. get yeah. You, you, you gotta go in the shops. <laughs> what are some uh, early challenges that you're finding out uh, about? And how are you overcoming them? You're saying that you're like just starting this out right now. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you feel you can improve on? What are some things that you feel, oh this worked really well? What what's some things you got going on like that? I noticed that like um, when it comes to even with because this is one of my originals too mm -hmm. that I'm wearing. When it comes to Getting material, don't start, don't get too much 
at one time. Okay. Overstock? Yeah, don't overstock. And when I first started, I did that. So now I'm sitting on a lot of my stuff. But I'm confident that it's going to sell. I'm, I'm just confident. Don't ask me how. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no. I, I so, believe these are going to go. But so. don't, don't like they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't start out like that. And, and you, I'm pretty sure you got an Instagram. I do. And you promote it on Instagram. Do people mm-hmm. hit you up quite often? On your on your on your ground? Um, they have it not really on Instagram, but they um, uh, I have gained a lot of followers. Okay, I have. Are you uh only in Detroit, or are you shipping them out, or? I'm not shipping yet because it's just me. Just you. Yeah, and I don't want to overdo it, like you know, overwork myself because I still have to send to my kids, True. my home. So, um, I don't want to start shipping just yet. Mm-hmm. So, we we working, we working towards that. I can, I, I can see that. And so, this is all you? You don't have any help at all with moving these products? I mean, my man. <laughs> oh. So, he helped you sell the purses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> his, car, his car is full of my flyers. Like, <laughs> he, yep. he, he, he stocks up on it. Hey, hey, my girl, she got this. You know, he, he promotes me. Because, man, you got, got to. <laughs> this this is this is fire. Especially this one, the typewriter one. Oh yeah. This is my baby right here. <laughs> I'm digging that one. <laughs> that one is fire. With the type with the personality at the top. With the personality on it. <laughs> with the personality at the top. What else do you have in here? We got the the father clock. Absolutely. <laughs> now what does this one run for? So or so or something like this? Um, this one. I'm not exactly sure yet. Okay. I, I, this one cost a lot. So I'm sure. For, just for me to get it. But um, this is just the sample here. So this is the only one I got. I'm, this one's still on back order. But this one probably is going to run about uh, 175 about 200 I believe that. Um, and we also got... The brown jacket. The brown jacket. Oh, yeah, that's nice. With the personality on the back. With the personality on the back. Mm-hmm. And how much does this one run? I'm about to show the camera. Thank that you. one, that one is one fifteen, and this one is also one fifteen with the personality on the back. So oh, yeah, I see it. And these, my little ancient clocks. These one, these don't work, but you know. I just like them because they just different. It's right. different. Oh, that's a steampunk clock. Oh no, I like this. This fire. And I got a um, a smaller style of it too right here. Another one. Fire. Absolute fire. So what's the typical age <clears throat> that like most of your customers are? Right? Like younger women? No, it's all <laughs> women my age. Women your age. Yeah. So you you arrange to say from like twenty five to thirty five mm-hmm. in that bracket somewhere. Yep. Okay. See, I like these because a lot of people th- these aren't normal purses. These definitely are outside of the box. Fire, right? It gotta be different. You you can't just think like everybody else. Oh, I'm gonna just put this outfit on because I saw an old girl wearing it, uh, and it was cute. Nah, put something else. I I will put on some stuff that don't match, and then put on a purse that'll put, pull the whole outfit. Which together. one of these would you take to the Chris Brown concert coming up in June? I probably would take that one. This one to the Chris Brown concert. I can see that. The leather jacket, why not? The leather jacket one. Do you do uh, more sales during the summer or in the wintertime? We don't know that yet. We just started. I'm really excited. I probably, would, say, I probably would think like the fall. The a fall lot of this, for A lot of those look like, you know, fall type of things with a nice leather jacket. Yeah. They accentuate mm-hmm. the, the jacket, those, those uh, earth tone colors and things like that. 
I see that you customize the personality for each different purse. Like mm-hmm. that one has a megaphone, and then there's also your logo, and this one has the typewriter font for it. When you're thinking of applying your logo to these purses, what's your thought process like for making this one personalized for this purse? It has to bring out the personality of the purse. Okay. So, like, that being a radio, I don't know about y'all, but I like my stereo loud. Loud. Mm -hmm. So I needed the megaphone on that to let you know I'm screaming personality through your radio. Makes sense. This one had the typewriter on here. For mm-hmm. the, so what would you do for the clock? Because that's what I want to know, how you're going to, what, what's classic. the class? And that you know, one. I still been thinking about that. It got it to gotta be something good, though. I still been thinking about that. I, I, I can't I can't wait. These these clocks, especially <laughs> these steam pump, steam pump ones, I really want to know what you come up yeah, with. Yeah, I got to. I'm going to make it good, though. Is it only Instagram or is there more social media uh, to get in touch you with? Um, it's just Instagram right now. I'm still working on putting my getting my Facebook up. Okay. Because I don't have, I deleted my personal Facebook, so I want to have just my business. Now, what about like a website or something where you could just sell the purses on? Are you working on that as well? I haven't yet. That's what I was going to talk to you about. No. <laughs> oh. So is it you, just you purses? You with a lot of stuff. So. Is it just purses or are you going to go on to other things? Or are you just going to stop with the purses and just concentrate on purses? Or do you have like, mm-hmm. like clothing in mind? Jackets? I do. Um, I started uh, my clothing. This is one of my designs. Um, it's just purses for now, but I do have some jogging suits okay. um, for sale and some um, leggings and uh, shirts to go with them. Mm-hmm. But for now, um, my main focus is the purses, but I do have some outfits. Will the jogging suits fall under the personality umbrella or will this be an entirely separate brand? Nope, still personality. Fire. <laughs> Absolute fire. We can get you a jogging suit and a purse to go together. You got to, for real, though. <laughs> yeah. Why not? I think this is like more of a... Uh, that kind of match what you got on them it bright, do. them loud color, colors. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wear that. Are you uh, doing um, all sizes or are you only going up to a certain size with the joggers? I'm leaning more so towards plus size because mm-hmm. I hear a lot of the plus size girls say, we can't, any, we can't any find anything cute in our size and they want to give us the ugly stuff. No, nah, baby, I got you. I got you. And the purse to match. And the purse to match. Yes. <laughs> Fat souls. Remember Rob wanted to open a <laughs> store called Fat Souls. I want to tell him somebody heard him and took his idea because they opening up that uh that big, big man. The big. Did you see that yeah, right up the yeah, street? Yeah. I know they're coming with that. What else is in here? What's this for? Oh. <laughs> This is Peter Pan. No way. You and it glow in the show. dark. Oh, we're going to have to shut the lights Turn out. Turn the light. What? <laughs> <laughs> it glow in the dark. With the wallet. I was going to ask you, do you have any match of wallets to go inside of here? Is this the only one with the match of wallet? It's the only one for now. This the only one for now. My vendor is... My vendor is... Talk, she was just uh, messaging me last night. and was like, what do you think about wallets? Girl, I already think how about many, it. How many shipments have you had since you started? Oh, my God. My, she my she said room. she overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> so is it. She said she overdid it. One of my neighbors, before she moved, she was like, you you keep getting these packages on your porch. I was like, lady, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> so are you selling it and re, as soon as you, you just reinvest, sell some and reinvest? Right now, like, I feel like when, when starting a new business... Um, you should take your time and make sure it's exactly what you want and how you want it to go. Mm -hmm. Because from my research, most businesses crash within that first year. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to take my time. I sell when someone asks, but I haven't been pushing just yet. Because when that time comes for me to push the sales, they're going to go. And I know they are, so I've been taking my time with it. How many so. purses have you sold since you started? 
I think I have sold maybe 10. And you started and they when? And the boxes is still coming. And you started when? I started last year. Um, probably like, I want to say uh, September. Okay. It's about September. And you so. wait. You don't even have to wait. These purses are gonna sell. Like I'm, I'm just. You should be. Th- th- I oh, know you it's know. me. It's me. I because I, I, I want it to be the right time. No, let like. me tell you something. You 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 gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you got you gotta go. You gotta get out there and just yeah. face them. You got some inner fears that you're dealing with. I know you do. And that's what's and that's what's stopping you. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, you you got the product. You don't really have to go say too much or nothing. That's what True. I thought. When you go in there and just hold that up, hey, baby, let, let me let me see let me see that. <laughs> Even in the barbershop, because guys, they got they got women. Mm-hmm. My girl will love this. My girl will love this. And then guess what they doing? They pulling out their mm-hmm. cell phone. They FaceTime and they girl. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of times when the guys ask me for my car, they be like, my mama will love this purse. For real. <laughs> I get for, that for a lot. For you to come on this podcast, you got to be shaking in your boots. So. I was. <laughs> <laughs> so I was. look at you. Guess what you did? You came <laughs> and you did it. And that's, that, and that's mm-hmm. one piece of advice I want to give to you. Mm-hmm. I want you to go out there tomorrow and I want you to sell two purses. Okay. And once you sell those two purses, the next day you're going to sell two more purses. Mm-hmm. This whole table going to be wiped out. Okay. I guarantee you that. Cause I see, Including I see, what's I, at home? I see what's going on. <laughs> I, I just wanted to find out, like, you know, how many purses. Because there's no way these purses should be sitting on this table like that. They all should sure. be gone. 50% of these purses should be gone. And you're right. guess what? It's tax season. It if is. you don't get it right now. You're going to wait till everybody run out their money. <laughs> they, <laughs> no, I ain't trying they, to do they that. They got it. This, this advertisement time. I'm telling you, go tomorrow. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Trust me. You good. You gone. Okay. Like, How many flyers you still got? You passing them out? I'm passing them out. Yeah, everybody need to be getting those. You passing them out with, yeah. with, with the purses? Because there's nothing like seeing the purse. That flyer is not going to do nothing like what I see on this table right no. now. So basically, you telling me I need to keep my purses in my you car? Keep purses in, <laughs> and let me let me go to the car. Let me show you. Okay. Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, a couple more more IG posts, uh, more stories. You really want to push these along. You have a great product. You have Thank a you. great product, and the way you customize them even more for that person to get that full. This is my experience. You really got to push these more. I'm telling you. So what do you see, like, what do you see this whole business going like in the next five years? Where do you want to be at? I want my own store. You want your own store. Mm-hmm. A brick and mortar? Okay. I, want I, can, my own I, store. I can see that. I can see that happening for you. Yeah. Yep. I want to be able to sell online, too. Especially with unique, I, like, unique purses like these that everybody, I haven't, I'm a guy, but I don't know. But I had never seen a woman walking around with these type of purses. <laughs> so I know they're unique. I know you have something special, but you got to go because if you don't go now, somebody else will. And that's True. my advice that I'm going to give to you. And I'm going to take it. And take that. And I, I know you'll make it. Thank you. And yeah. spe- why, why you got this sweet name to a logo personality? Yes. Yes. It, it, could, yes. it couldn't. Your timing is now. Right. Yes. Your timing is now. I really hope to see you out at uh, more pop ups and things like that this summer. For real, you. I re- that's I really w- am trying to do that. You setting yeah, up for what type of things you setting up? You been making phone calls, future endeavors, things like that. No, I actually my sister told me about. I forgot the name of the website. I got to ask her again, but she said it's a website that um, lists uh, like upcoming um, pop up shops. It's a so. pop up. It's a pop up shop. This uh, that this girl I forget her. I know her last name is Carl. They call her a pop up queen. They call her the mm-hmm. pop up queen. I'm gonna get you that information. Okay. I wanted to go to the pop up shop because I've been hearing a lot about it. And if you if you out there, I'm shouting you out, Miss Pop Carter, up queen. Pop up queen. <laughs> We're trying to get some vendors to come to your your show. Uh, but I think those purses would do excellent at pop up shops, okay. and I know they'll be doing good at uh, like salons. And don't be afraid to go in the uh, 
um, barbershops as, as well. Okay. And so if it's, uh, anybody want to get in contact with you and get some of your purses, how can they get in contact with you? Um, you can contact me at uh, my number. is on the flyer. Okay. Or um, on my Instagram, personality.313. All right, y'all see it? Personality. We got two numbers up there. <laughs> two numbers up there. 313-413-2398 and 313-422-5795. Hit Ashley Watts up and get you some of these personality purses. Yeah, check her out on Instagram, too. They got all the pictures that you're looking for and all the customizations, too. Yes. Because yes. these are going to fly off the shelves <laughs> fast. Yeah, this steampunk. I'm just partial to steampunk. Like seriously, <laughs> it's really cool. It's really. Why you know what? I didn't even know the name of it. I just was like, I'm in love with this person. The old, the old style. Yeah, it's what's uh, it called? Steampunk. It's a whole genre in itself of apparel, and this fits that. You, okay. you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know why purses. I feel like there was a lot of avenues that you could have went down with your creativity. You specifically went to purses, and I wanted to know yeah. why those. I've always been, like, a purse fanatic. I need a purse. Gotta have like, one. I gotta have a purse. Outfit isn't complete without it. Without it. Nope. I, I feel naked without my purse. I, can, I gotta have my purse. <laughs> I don't care if it's empty. Give my purse. As a guy, I have no idea how much stuff can actually go inside of a purse? <laughs> and you got, and I mean, how, I done seen laptops being pulled out of purses before mm-hmm. and everything. What, what is the optimal purse? Wh- which one is your absolute favorite one here, and why? Like, my if it wasn't, if it, if it wasn't gonna be this, not I, I know it's this one, and I like this one too. Yeah, I that's think my, this one that's is my easy number match, one. Easy to match up with. But I wear this one the most. Word. I wear oh, this that, one oh, the most. I can see why people ask you that. I would definitely. I wear this one the most. And you know, when I first started wearing this, when I first discovered these and started getting these, people used to make fun of me. Call me Flavor Flav. <laughs> so if I want to, if I want to get that exact same purse, can I? Can Can you order that one and mm-hmm. they'll still have it available? Yeah. Okay. If I want like a color changed or anything, I can still get that customized too. Mm-hmm. And you can get it any color you want it to be. I just take about a month to get. It. Yep. But you take a deposit. How does that work? Oh uh, yeah, definitely a deposit. Cause, like, if if I'm gonna take an order, and just for one, for me to get just one and place in that order, mm. delivery alone is seventy dollars. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I can see that. So just for one purse, I'm taxing on that. Yeah, you got to throw the seventy. Jesus. Yeah. Nah, I can't see that though. Is Coming that... from China. Oh man. They seem really durable though. Like you would think some of these. No, these seem these seem pretty very well put together. Material looks good. Nah, I can I, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> the small one. Is this one battery operated too? No, those are not. Those are not battery operated. Have you seen any of these purses anywhere? No. no. Hell no. I'm nothing no. like it. No. I've never seen anybody wear anything of the such. Get down on this monopoly while you can, while it's just you. Yes. You got something here. You, you, you got you gotta stop being afraid. <laughs> you already made the you already made the uh the first step by coming here. I did. When well, you were yeah. trying to get your, your logo on your graphics, you already made the first step. I did. It, it's time to take it you to the next flyers, level. You got mm-hmm. your Instagram. Mm-hmm. You got your product. They set up my Instagram, too. See? You ready to go. You yep. got you ready to go. I am. No more I'm excuses. A, I'm going to step out there. No more excuses. <laughs> no, nah, because we, cause we be having people come back on the show, and we want to make sure that, you know. I got you. You. You did your thing. I got you. I'm gonna make it happen. They, 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 they're not gonna be sitting on this table like that. They're gonna be gone. Oh, they definitely gonna be gone. Next time I see y'all, they're gonna be gone. All right. There you have it. I'm challenging you. I'm gonna be telling y'all uh, I'm sitting, I'm waiting on my next batch. <laughs> there you go. What's some different ones that you got coming for the next batch? Um, the heart monitor, 
um, I got a, uh, you know, the uh, high C juice like, pouch. Yeah. One of those. No way. But it's, instead of it saying high C, it say high AF. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't remember. It, I, I done sent this lady so many pictures. She probably can't keep up with me. It, but she she only though she generating all these pictures like you want your person to look like this or this 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 and I be up. What is that? What is that like? Sometimes when I'm talking to someone, <coughs> oh the about, washing machine. No way. Yeah, I forgot about that. The washing machine with the little detergent so, sitting on top. <laughs> the money just hanging out like it's how you laundering <laughs> money, you stick your money in the washing machine. Like I'm cleaning my money. You said this is a. It is. It is based in China. Are there any language barriers that you're having when communicating with this person? No, I think they use um, like a translator. Translate things. Yeah, because you could tell like her English kind of. But I know what she mean when she be texting me. So we can either video chat or we can text. But I can't understand her. Video chat. Yeah, they got video chat. Wait a minute. <clears throat> How did you find her? Um. I, at first, I found her on. Uh, What's one of them um, vendor sites? But we decided to go personal. Mm. Once I seen the quality, I think it was this one first. And I seen the quality of her work and the leather. I said, I'm sticking with her. I got one that does the purses and one that does my jogging suits. Has there ever been a miscommunication? No, she just be on me though. If I forget that we was messaging and fall asleep, mm -hmm. she I wake up to like eighteen messages. Are we still? Are we still going? <laughs> she make sure that she stay on me. Relentless. Yeah. <laughs> the fifteen purses. <laughs> are we a go? Are you gonna? Are you gonna get the week signing this next contract? Are we? I was just be like, lady. These are contract signings. This is big business here. Mm -hmm. Like oh. every every bulk that I get, she sends me a new contract. Like, okay, this is what we did for this amount. Sign this contract, mm -hmm. and before I sign it, she'll send me a sample. Now this sample, I didn't have to pay for it because it came in broke. That's why this is just a, uh, a display for me. Okay, and I didn't have to send it back to her. She just was like, okay, I'll make sure your next stop come in safe. So everything is, I don't know, she look out with me. <laughs> it is a pretty cool plug. It does have to travel far. It does. It does. Nah, Ashley, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, I got the um the backpack Peter Pan coming in, too. You do backpacks, too? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. The, all, right. all these, um, all right, now we getting somewhere. these backpacks coming in Friday, different colors. I think like green, forest green, black, yellow, red. Men backpacks. If you want to wear this, because men in the purses too. Now I see, these, <laughs> I see these men with these men's purses. I don't have one, but you know it's like a little bag. Why don't you have what? Seriously though, in a time where there are man purses and man bags, why not cater to them? I, it's not at that I, it's not that I don't one. want to. I'm just focusing on one thing at a time. So I I you started with the women thing. Mm -hmm. So once I do get this down pack first, <laughs> then I'll, I'm gonna put a special order in. I want to be the first with the with the man purse backpack. For sure, I got you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna think of something. I want you to put it together for me. As a purse expert, what do you believe is the biggest difference between? <laughs> Uh, a feminine purse and a and a man bag. I think the the men should keep it with the shoulder strap. Okay. You know, women if they gonna wear a backpack, you got the two straps. Off the men should just keep it with the one strap. The one Wait strap a minute, nah, yeah. I, I thought it would have been the run, the other way around. What you like, Cause like the man, it's like a backpack, like a school backpack. Like you used to see, my mama used to put the put a purse on her shoulder. Like, hey, go get but my, go you, get my you purse. Know the it, I used to it just have around. to grab it. <laughs> the mo it's more like a, it's more like a fanny pack for like the shoulder. Yeah. That, that, that. So women have a two straps. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like this. I, one, I don't know because I, I this one can be over the shoulder or a backpack. It could be both. Does it come with come the with two straps? Ah. Uh, I see. I see. So I guess a man could wear the 
No, we didn't say that. We just had to cut the straps. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uh, man purse. It's more like a backpack. Backpack, okay. More like a backpack. Yeah, it's, it's more like a backpack. I didn't start seeing the uh, dudes carrying around the man bags until the uh, the whole weed thing blew up, and then all of a sudden, everyone just kept carrying around different apes inside of this shoulder. Mm-hmm. Fanny pack that they was walking around with. That's the most I've seen them. And I mean, I've seen. Well, my boyfriend uh, asked me today, like, what you think about duffel bags? So I have thought about that. going to be bag lady. Yeah. I'm going to be bag lady. <laughs> bag lady. Or a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fanny packs, duffel bags, suitcases. I did have a fanny. I did buy a fanny pack back in the day and, and rocked it. In the 80s? <laughs> Was it the 80s? Y'all did it. Y'all did a lot of that. Wasn't the 80s. <laughs> yeah. no. What the fanny pack? Wasn't the 80s. When the last time you wore a fanny pack? When I went to Miami like three years ago. Oh, I was fresh to death now. <laughs> with the with Hey, the look, fanny we was on the bus. It was a Louis fan. People was wearing it. It was a Louis. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. 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 It ain't got to be name brand for you to wear a fanny pack. It's not like it's not like I'm against fanny packs. Fanny packs have obviously had their time and they seem to uh, come and go. I I just have yet to really rock one. It's not enough room in there. This is a very small. What you carrying around? The, normally like a laptop and like Uh-oh. Russia creams. Like this, this is a very small, <laughs> very small thing. You can't put too much in there. I'm, I'm going to get you a, um, how you a personality duffel bag then. A duffel bag? I want, the, I want one of the first. Got you. I want one of the first. All black. Go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want the personality, yeah. the gym. Gym bag, gym bag, gym gotcha. duffel bag. Yeah. Huh? Call it the knobs. The what? Sorry, I was just saying something. <laughs> right Don't worry about that. Uh, just one more time, let everybody know uh, how they can get in touch with you, Ashley, and everything that you got going on for now and in the future. Roll out the red carpet for yourself. Just uh, Ashley. Uh, Ashley Watts. Uh, Instagram personality dot three one three. And phone number is 313-413-2398 or 313-422-5795. You, Ashley. Appreciate your time being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Boogie. You have just listened to the Can You Picture This podcast. The podcast for the strongest, fastest, most powerful t-shirt slash print shop on this side of the eastern seaboard. You can catch us in the heart of Detroit, Greenfield and Grand River, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Our address is 14223 Greenfield Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48227. Our phone number is 313-273-5000.